What happens to our wastewater? Wastewater is a dirty, contaminated water that leaves our households and industry. But what happens with this wastewater? In most countries, it's collected and directed to treatment plants. With this, we make sure that we get clean water that is safe to discard into the environment. And with this, we can avoid the spread of diseases and also prevent pollution of the water bodies. The first step in wastewater treatment is to remove the suspended solids in wastewater. The treatment plants have bar screens that work just like sieves, so we are able to remove all the bigger particles that are in the water. Toilet paper, wipes, food debris, wood pieces, etc. Then the wastewater flows to bigger tanks where it stays for a few hours, giving it enough time for sand and smaller particles to settle at the bottom. And then they can be removed as well. The second stage of wastewater treatment is to remove all the dissolved organic matter in the wastewater. This is usually achieved by biological technologies, which means we have a community of microorganisms that is responsible for removing the contaminants from the wastewater. These communities are very complex and they work just like societies. So each bacteria has a specific role or job, they can compete between each other, and some rely on the activity of others to thrive. But they work as a team to treat our wastewater. As we move towards a circular economy, we also want to recover valuable products and other resources from wastewater. And bacteria can help us achieve that. Some of them have special features we can take advantage of. For instance, the ability to accumulate polymers inside the cell. If we harvest the cells from the process, and if we break them, we can obtain the two polymers. PHA is a suitable alternative to some of the conventional petroleum-based plastics, and polyphosphate can be used as a fertilizer to grow crops. Some wastewater treatment plants have a third treatment step for instance, disinfection to remove any pathogens that might still be in the water, or other processes such as ultrafiltration or ozonation to remove more persistent chemicals and pharmaceuticals. Then we get water that is safe to discard into the river or in the ocean. But the main goal is to achieve water that is so pure that we can actually drink it and reuse it in our households and industry.